So a couple months ago, HexDSL posted a video called I Had an Adventure with Email Clients. And in that video, which I will link in the video description below, he talks about how there aren't very many good email clients on Linux. And when I first watched this video, I was like, Hex, what are you talking about, buddy? Thunderbird's awesome. And at the time, I thought I was in the right. I thought that Thunderbird was awesome. And I hadn't used it in ages but it was still really good my memory of thunderbird was a fond memory i've never had any problems with it and then i decided to use it again and holy crap is thunderbird terrible like it is so bad now it don't get me wrong it's usable like you can, if you want to use it you can it's perfectly functional but it uses nearly as many threads on your system as firefox does now that shouldn't be surprising i was you know probably shares a lot of code with firefox but the point is is that an email client should not use 200 threads <laughs> it just should not and if you don't believe me we can actually go through and see that Thunderbird right now is using 154 threads and ranging between 0 and 1% of CPU usage. And it's doing absolutely nothing right now other than sitting there. As I said, no email client should ever use 150 to 200 threads. It just, it absolutely should not ever use that. So I would like to take a moment to apologize to HexDSL. Thunderbird, in fact, does kind of suck and that leads me to the main point of the video where are all the good email clients like i've used many of them over the last few days like i've when i discovered this thing with thunderbird now like i have plenty of resources on my computer i'm not in a position where i could say well because it uses 200 threads and all the cpu and all this memory and stuff like that it's a bad thing like i have plenty to spare but it's the principle of the thing right i don't want to use an application that uses that much in terms of resources that doesn't actually do anything now the browser i have to use that thing and every single browser out there it doesn't matter which one they all use a crap ton of resources it's just the nature of the beast. Firefox spawns a ton of extra processes. I don't know if Chrome or Chromium-based browsers do the same thing, but I wouldn't, it wouldn't be surprising to me. So if I use the application a lot, I suppose I can overlook last, but email, for the most part, my email client just sits in the background and I check it three or four times a day. You know, it's not something that I use constantly. And the fact that it uses this much, this much resources bothers me. So I went through and used as many email clients over the last week as possible. And I've come to the conclusion that there aren't any good ones. Now, Mutt is my favorite and has been my daily driver for the last, oh, I don't know, year and a half or so since I, I discovered Mutt Wizard and was able to get Gmail working in it. The problem is, is that the vast majority of email that comes in to almost everybody's email inbox has HTML in it, and MeoMutt does not do a very good job of doing HTML. Now, there are ways of getting HTML translated to plain text with a, a, a dependency. It's janky. It is. So, it's not a great solution. And the problem is when you get so many emails that have HTML in them, and they come across as broken, it means like... 20 to 30 percent of the time when I actually had to view those emails I'd have to go into a web client to view my email which defeats the purpose of using a client so there are no good email clients and that's just it's just thoroughly depressing now I've used, also used Mailspring in the last week I used Evolution I used Geary it feels like there was another one that I used obviously there was Thunderbird that I, I started out on I can't remember what the other one was. It's 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 a blank. But the the point is is that there just aren't any good ones. And I don't understand this. Like I did I think I did a poll last year sometime asking if people use the web client for their email or use a native client. And I think the vast majority of people use the web client. And maybe that's the reason why there aren't any good native clients, but I have a feeling that this is a situation where more people would use the native clients if there were good ones, like really good ones that didn't take up a ton of resources, didn't have a ton of extra features. Like I would love, I would absolutely adore an email client that is low on resources, just as email. Like seriously, I don't need calendar. I don't, don't need to do. I don't need any, I have other applications for those things. I want a Unix philosophy GUI email client. That's what I want with the possibility of 
being a perfect email client for as many different services as possible. Proton, Gmail, all this stuff. I want it to just be an email client. That's it. I don't understand how this is too much to ask. I don't need a full office suite. Okay. I don't need the Vivaldi of email clients. <laughs> it's just, it's not something that I need. I just want an email client and it seems to be too much to ask. So really, this is just a whole video of me bitching about the fact that there are no good email clients. If you have a suggestion for an email client that I might not have tried, you can leave that in the comment section below. You can follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. Siday, Devon, Patrick L. Primus, Marcus, Meglin, Jack Snapefool, Steve A, CyberGuy, Linux, Garrick, Mitchell, Art Center, Carbon Data, Jeremy, Sean, Odin, Martin E., Merrick, Camp, Joshua Lee, Daydog, Peter A., Crucible, Dark Bandit, Six, and Flat A. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.